Hello, my name is Michael Keneally and I'm making this very short video to tell you about one of the very special benefits of my astrology readings. They're very unusual in that they combine Western astrology with Vedic astrology. Vedic astrology is the astrology of ancient India. And so they give very powerful, very sure and very comprehensive declaration. As an example of what my astrology readings can do, I'm just going to briefly show you where the focus was on love in a young man's chart, <coughs> where the astrology pointed to a particularly difficult but definable script in love, and where, as in all my readings, we don't just say, oh yes, there's a difficulty, but we go on to say how the difficulty can be healed, how the person can be empowered. So first of all, I want to show you his Western astrology chart. So the screen should be settling down onto his Western astrology chart. Now notice that Venus is in Capricorn and Venus is conjunct Neptune and Uranus. Well, basically, Venus Neptune points to a particular issue in love. The Venus Neptune person has a sense of the ideal in love, the unattainable in love. But the difficulty is no flesh and blood human can match that. And so the Venus Neptune person can be rejecting, they can be critical, and they can go from relationship to relationship seeking the unattainable. This young man's 20, by the way. But not only that, his Venus is conjunct Uranus, and that's not a very fortunate um conjunction for love because Venus conjunct Uranus is a propensity to have affairs to go from sexual affair to sexual affair where the humanity of the other person isn't seen or isn't even important where it's passion and acquisition and conquest that are important now notice that the Venus Neptune Uranus stellium is T-square, the nodal axis. Here's the north node opposite the south node, and, the, and Venus is at 90 degrees to each end of the nodes. Okay, in evolutionary astrology, in Western astrology, that means that Venus issues, love, was a missed link. It wasn't um, grasped hold of in the previous lifetime. It's a leftover. And so special work has to be done. And it's actually very helpful that I'm able to make this sort of statement. And of course, there's more that I could say, but I want now to cross over to the Vedic astrology. So I'm just going to move to sharing the Vedic astrology screen and looking at his Venus there. So now we should be settling down on the Vedic birth chart. And basically you can see Venus here in Vedic Sagittarius. That's within their 12 sign zodiac. And Venus is indeed obviously squared the nodal axis, Rahu opposite Ketu, North node opposite South node. The indicators of our incarnational destiny this time. There's many other things I could say, but what I do want to say is that Venus, well, it's um, conjunct Mars, which is quite an angry uh, influence on Venus. It, it, you know, it, it, in Western astrology, some Western astrologers say, oh, Venus conjunct Mars, great, but no, Venus likes gentle energies near it doesn't like um, aggressive, demanding, argumentative Mars. 
Uh, but more important, Venus is in the second house in a very complicated five-planet stellium. And in terms of the 27 lunar signs of Vedic astrology, the nakshatras, because they use two zodiacs, the 12 solar signs and the 27 lunar signs, in the very, very powerful and sure declaration of the 27 nakshatras, Venus is in Uttarashada, which is quite a sort of demanding lunar sign. And above all, it's the one lunar sign that has no natural maids. And so that's a very important additional piece of information, of perception to share with the young man. But I want to say something about it, it being in the second house. The second house, one of the affairs of the second house, the areas of life, is childhood. Now let's move to looking at the fourth house of mother and mind and consciousness arising therefrom. Saturn is in the fourth house of mother. And this indicates that either mother was very repressive or absent, some sort of loss around mother. And so, you know, what clearly emerges is that a big, big problem in mothering is creating a big, big problem in childhood, which is creating a big, big problem in love, which could wreck the life. But it's so important to hear this perception, because in my astrology, we don't just state, oh, there's a very big Venus problem. We go on to say, what could heal it? What could empower it? Well, what could heal it will vary at the, you know, the age of the person, their circumstances, obviously. Very, very often, uh, what could heal Venus issues is heart wall clearing, which is part of emotion code. And I work with my partner, Maggie Pashley, who does heart wall clearing distance all over the world. And it's very effective clearing barriers to love, identifying when they happened and clearing them energetically anywhere in the world as a distance using Skype. But in this young man's case, I'm convinced that what is needed is actually inner child work. As I said, Venus is in the second house of childhood. There is a severe problem of mothering. So what you would do in inner child work you know, either working with Maggie or myself or individually or with an, another healer. Well, basically, the 20-year-old contacts the little child who was severed or felt abandoned by his mother with the huge knock-on effects in love. And so one develops a relationship with little X, little why, you know, the younger child version of oneself, one hears perhaps for the first time what little child is saying about the situation. One spends some time with little child and then, then you say, well, you know, I've got to go off and do growing up things now, but I love you and I will come back to you. There is a shamanic healing version of this called soul retrieval, which you can see on my shamanic healing chart. But that's another thing again, can be very useful indeed. But I was sort of thinking inner child work to get unconscious material voiced by the 20 year old so that little child was no longer running the life. Because when little hurt child is running the life, it's a very bad situation, but when little child is hurt and, sorry, heard and healed and loved, the 20 year old can take over running his life. So this is just one small example of the benefits of combining Western with Vedic astrology and of the necessity of combining powerful, accurate, reliable astrological statements and perception and declaration with healing and empowerment. So go to my astrology readings website, www.starwheelastrology.com and get in touch with me to order a reading. Thank you.